Ooh, doggy, we got the Destroyer and Vaulton coming. Destined for destruction. We got the release notes coming. And this is a day before the patch. We know that the patch is coming. We knew that this patch was coming. They told us this patch was coming. And now it's here. On May 19th, we will be getting the Vault and Raid, Destroyer, and a huge update to Lost Ark. Let's look what's inside the patch notes. The first thing that we see in the patch notes is that the Vault and Legion Raid is coming. Vault and will introduce it, the first Legion Raid into the Western version of Lost Ark. Now, uh, this has been gone... <laughs> I don't know even how to say this. Everyone's talked about Vault. If you don't know about Vaulton, I don't know what rock you've been under, honestly. So, Vaulton is coming. A few things that you may want to know about it can be found in the Vaulton Lost Ark Academy. And we can look at it right here by coming up, and this is where you would get it. Just make sure to go to the Lost Ark Academy Vaulton or look up on YouTube. You can find out how to do it. Vaulton has is an eight player raid and has two gates, which I'm guessing has two checkpoints in a way, and it also has a 415 normal mode, 445 hard mode. I don't want to go too much into it. Everyone knows Vaulton is coming. Next, Descaluda is coming. Everyone knows that a new Guardian raid is coming. One thing I want to say about this new Guardian, which will arise and must be vanquished before they usher in an Age of Darkness. Descaluda will require an item level of 415 to attempt. Also, if you've been putting it off, it may be time to finally do Velganos. Yeah, I know. I know it's a pain in the ass. Some of you can solo it without a problem. Some of you are having a little bit of a struggle with it. Regardless, if you haven't done it yet, it's time to do it. Next, we're looking at guild activities. So again, this 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 has been teased. They gave us something about this, but what I'm really excited about guild activities, Island Siege and Raid Match. Island Sieges are ways for uh there's PvP versus guilds, and I'm pretty sure if I've watched Saint Tone enough, we know that we get gold from these uh from these guild events and then raid match is like a raid and when i think of a raid match it's actually like a guild raid like you're going into world of warcraft or uh another final fantasy or something like that and you're going to do a raid with your guild i love this i i really really can't wait for this to come out i am excited for the guild versus guild activities this it, it, right here the patch is already looking fantastic next we have the south Vern content that's finally getting released even though we got south Vern, we didn't get this content but we're finally getting it south Vern chaos dungeons at 415 445 and 475 we're getting the chaos gate and secret dungeons we're getting the ghost ship the chaos line the sorry hard mode for chaos line and the thunder wings field boss which has a 1460 recommended item level but if you are like me you didn't you did not pay attention to that when you were farming moke and still have not gotten the omnium star Wild Wings Island. I don't know much about Wild Wings Island. I don't know what's going to go on, but I do know that we have a funny little video that they put up on Twitter that we can always pull up, and I may put in the video here in just a second. So here we go. Now, when we go back and see what they said about Wild Wings Island, it says that every hour you can do it. Let's hear appearing west of Tortoig with an event every hour. In return, you'll be rewarded with rapport chess, tailoring and metallurgy books, which I I don't know what level. Honing materials, again, don't know lo what levels. Beyonds, which we are going to need, and you know we're going to need a shit ton of those motherfuckers. Card packs, silver, and more. We have a lot coming. This looks like it's going to be the event that we're going to have. We got to kill a chicken. It looks like Alec here went nuts. Next thing to talk about, we're getting Nerea's wardrobe. Nerea's wardrobe is something that, honestly, I'm not that interested in. Like, I know you can mix and match and have these cool outfits, and it's a neat thing that people, I think, would really enjoy, but I'm not going to lie. I play an MMO to look like... Uh, a someone from a fantasy game not someone in real life but you know if you're into that here you go it's going to be around for about the next month general updates now there's a lot of general updates as you can see you could scroll down this thing for quite a while now if you're if you're into the nitty gritty and you want to know everything and anything about this i highly recommend going to the patch notes yourself and getting every single little thing for example raid leaders chat messages will now be highlighted that's a minor thing but it does have a great quality of life what i'm going over are the things that i found found to be the most important that i think everyone should know about and at the beginning here we see the daily login reward track appears to be refreshing now, I don't know if this means that we're getting the exact same rewards that we just got the last month or we're getting new rewards, but this is a big one. 
two accessories with the same name, for example, to space rings, can now be equipped at the same time. If you have a fallen chaos ring and a fallen chaos ring, instead of having to get an Aeon ring, you can just use the chaos ring in two chaos rings. I think that is amazing. I know some people aren't happy about that, but to be fair. To be fair. To be fair. I love that. I don't like the unique. I mean, it's it's nice to feel, but when you're really trying to build your character out and you can't find the jewelry anywhere, and then when you finally found the perfect one on the market and it's cheap, and you're like, yes, but you already have that one on, and you needed the the other one. And there's none of them, or they're just expensive. Yeah, that's that's why this makes me really, really happy. They added front and back indicators. I needed this. Just watch any of my Twitch VODs. You would see that every time I think I get a counter, and I guess I was on the, the boss's right cheek, and I was, I was hitting his ear instead of his mouth. But these will help me a lot. And they are able to be uh, changed and made into your liking by going to settings gameplay, and selecting controls and display. Next, they finally did it. Now, I don't know how these will show up, but I'm excited. They added shortcuts in the Frosthaven and Foggy Ridge Guardian maps. I don't have to say anything to that. You already know. Now, the last thing I noticed in the general updates that I want to bring up is that they added a level limit to get gold rewards from Array as well, normal, and hard. So if your character reaches, this is just a reminder for your alts, for anything like that. If your character reaches 1415, you will no longer get gold rewards from Array as well, Abyssal Dungeon. Keep that in mind. Now for some PvP action. This I found to be kind of odd. I get why it was done, but oh my god was it surprising to see happen. So they are reducing the damage reduction skill effects in PvP. The ones you know most for this are supports. Paladins, Gunlancers, Bards, things like that. But Wardancer and Soul Fist had this as well. They have changed that there is only allowed a 65% damage reduction during these skills' use. Wow. They're nerfing supports in PvP. And Wardancer and Soul Fist. Actually, if you think about it, it's, it's also it's nerfing some martial artists in PvP. Now, is it a huge nerf? I would say no. But it is a nerf. So pay attention. The second thing that's being changed about these skills is skill runes. Skill runes, conviction and judgment, are being recalculated. And instead, they're factoring in the cooldown reduction effect of swiftness using multiplication instead of addition. Now this will affect you. You may see this affect your conviction and judgment procs. From my understanding, this multiplication is better than addition in this case. You may see it. This sucks. So if you're using Conviction and Judgment runes, notice you may see a difference. The next thing I want to talk about is some of the, gla the class balancing that has gone on and what we're getting over in NA over just the recent class balances in KR. That's amazing, by the way. I'm more of a warrior uh, player. I'm going to be making a destroyer. I have a berserker. I have a paladin. I have a gun lancer. Uh, yes, I'm playing artillerist. But I just like the playstyle of the warriors, and I feel like the artillerist is just a ranged warrior. So I'm going to go over more of the warriors and the artillerist. Check these patch notes for your uh, class and any changes that happen to it. I highly recommend it because there are big changes that are happening. For, for Berserker, we're having a lot of attack, and this is a thing. I'm going to show you right here. If you see the Berserker, a lot of this has happened to a lot of other classes. Um, attack types are changing. Front attacks to back attacks, or back attacks to front attacks, or front and back attacks are being removed. Things like that. You're going to see that a lot. Mountain Crash, they actually added a counter effect to it. So you now can counter attack with Mountain Crash. Red Dust is having a major change. It looks like it's... A lot is happening to it. The cooldown is being reduced, but as well as the damage, the MP consumption, it looks like it's becoming a less hard-hitting hit but they're trying to add more damage to you after using it. So that is one thing. It's kind of confusing. Um, I don't play Berserker that much. Honestly, it's one of the warrior classes that I played the least. If someone could explain that, 
red dust is changing it looks like to be more of a spammed ability less more of a, it's still a burst ability but there is some changes and in your engravings the crit damage is increased in berserker technique and mayhem you're getting a slight nerf but you're also able to use adrophin adrophine adrophin potions um, I don't know how to quite say that. I've heard it say multiple different ways, but you can now use this while in burst mode. Nerfs going on, and it is coming, but there are some buffs too. Our next one is Gunlancer. Gunlancer, a little bit has happened, but I love Gunlancer. After I get my Artillerist and my Paladin up, I'm debating on Gunlancer or Destroyer. So the changes that are happening to the Gunlancer, we're getting a little bit of a damage increase across the board, across our Surge Cannon, our Charge Stinger, our Counter Gunlance, which... If you think about it, are kind of like our chaos builds or our red builds. But then our blue build, Shield Bash, is getting a weak point level 1 added to it. Amazing. Now Gun Lancers are getting more weak point to their skills because they didn't have... Well, did they? Eh, not really. They didn't really have many weak point skills. At least Shield Bash, one of our most spammed ones, is finally getting it. Great addition to the Gun Lancer. Paladin. Um... I don't really know what to say. They took our attacks and made them back attacks, yet Holy Sword are still counters. And they increased the time on our our damage engraving. They increased the time on Judgment. Is anyone really going to go a damage paladin still? Like, if you do, please let me know how you do it, because that's, uh... I'm just going to stay support. The last thing I want to talk about is my favorite, because we saved the best for last. The Artillerist! This is one of my favorite classes. It's one of the least played, least enjoyable, but I, I love this class, dude. This class is so much fun, and you can see they are getting a lot of changes, and I will try to explain what's going on here as much, much as I can because I do play Artillerist quite a bit. Damage from normal skills during PvP has been increased by 5%. Hey! Gatling Gun removed the back attack effect. Flamethrower, remove the back attack effect. Gravity Explosion, remove the back attack effect. What does this mean when they're removing these back attack effects? From my understanding, when your ability... You use Hitmaster. When you use Homing Barrage and Air Raid, we tend to use Hitmaster. And if I'm not mistaken, attacks that don't have front and back attack modifiers get increased by Hitmaster. Well, Gatling Gun, Flamethrower, Gravity Explosion, these had back attack effects. So if you didn't back attack you didn't get any damage increase. If that's my understanding of Hitmaster, and, well, now there's no back attack effect. This means that we're, especially Flamethrower, because that's the one that I personally use a lot, now has a huge damage increase. Homing Barrage, Air Raid, their staggers have been lowered. They have taken our stagger off of our main damaging abilities. Their reasoning was when there's stagger effects or things like this or defense where you have to deal, you can deal damage, but you can't stagger. Supposedly in the future, these types of things, they're taking away all of our stagger on these huge abilities, our big damage abilities, and putting them on our multiple rocket launcher, our napalm shot, swing, and they added a counter to forward barrage. No longer do you have to use napalm shot or swing to counter. Now that instant, that instant frontal barrage is now a counter. Love it. Love it. That is so good. It's like, it's, it's almost an instant just right coming out. So amazing. Um, we got some damage increase as well, but not the most important. Napalm shot is still the highest uh, amount of stagger that we can do. Multiple rocket launcher and swing are the second highest. Now, when it comes to our heavy turret, they increased the HP. I don't quite know why they did this. I don't use the turret in PvE. Uh, I may in the future, like Vaulton or something like that, or Vicus. I, I don't know. Maybe for another raid, because I know it's more consistent damage versus a burst of damage. We'll find out. But they increased the health by 300%, which is kind of insane. Now, when you're in barrage mode, they added a few more things. You can use mobility skills while in barrage mode. My idea is this is like, well, what mobility skill? Do they mean like space bar? But if they do mean that, it will be deactivated immediately and you will roll out of the way. You can deactivate barrage mode even if you're silenced. You can use the following items now if you're in barrage mode. Time stop potions, stealth rope, and splendid stealth rope. 
and an extra meter will be added when you engage in firepower meter level 3, making it easier to check the buff's duration. That's amazing because I never know when I have the buff or not anymore. <laughs> I just kind of keep going. The last one, uh, specialty skills like bombardment. The howitzer shot cooldown has been reduced from 12 seconds to 9. Focus fire range increased by 50%. Attack speed increased approximately 16. And attack duration has decreased by approximately 30%. Now, this is a lot of fancy words. Not much has happened to it, really. Not It, it looks like big, but it's not as much as you think. Um, the build that I would still be using is, is just being buffed across the board. I think the big thing is them taking off the uh back attack modifiers allowing hitmaster to have more effect i think artillerist is just gonna be crap now there's of course other classes that have had changes and maybe you are a fan of those classes i just don't really want to comment on these classes all the time because i don't play them uh i only have six character slots and one of them's going to be the destroyer so i tend to fi fixate on the warriors and my uh artillerist because artillerist is my favorite and i feel like they're all kind of the same so if i didn't go over your class i'm really sorry uh tell me what you think is great about your change what like teach me teach me about them i'd love to know and if you like this video make sure you can you like comment subscribe uh down below and i'll see you on the next one and i hope you have a great time taking out Vaulton. have a good one everyone hope you have a great rest of your day